Hello everyone and welcome to the Feed the Beast Unleashed server play. Me and Weber. Hi then. Um, we're doing well. I'm doing well. How are you doing, Weber? I'm doing pretty good. Now, between episodes, we went to the nether and I actually got... Oh, what's happened? Fortune 1. How did I get that? No clue. Well, I think it might be because I put some lapis on my pick, I think. That's why. Yes, because I've got Fortune 1 on my pick, but... Basically, we went to the nether, got loads of nether quartz, so I did anyway. And we made these daggers, haven't we? Yeah. We did. We made these daggers and it was pretty sick. So you can throw these daggers like this, look. Throw them down there, down the stairs. Roll them yeah, down. throw them. Roll them down. Cool. They're pretty, uh, pretty spiffy, these. So, today, I want to go and mine a little bit of obsidian. Okay. Because um, I want to make some alamite. Because alamite is pretty cool. Alright. Okay. Well, I'm just I'm just touching up this room down here. Mm -hmm. Touching it up. Touching up the room. Okay. Well, I'm going to go over to. I'm going to bring some coalstone along. So I'm going to go back to the Nether. Um, a couple of episodes back, I started to patch up the holes in the nether fortress that we had. Oh yeah. That was quite dangerous, wasn't it? You've got the crown. You see, we managed that was to work horrible. out how the hats work. Remember? Yeah, yeah. Which is pretty cool, so... Five, you can see I've got this lovely Luigi cap. Very nice. So I'm going to head downstairs and see if I can patch up this nether fortress anymore. It's indeed very nice. Right. So first of all, the roof. Finish up this lovely roof. Almost done. There we are. So this is pretty safe now. And I'm going to mine up this this uh, this obsidian here. Might take a while, uh, but hopefully we'll be able to get it. How are you doing, weather? I'm doing brilliant. You doing brilliant? Yeah. Uh, how's the room coming along? It's looking pretty good, to be honest. Is it? Yeah. That is certainly good to know. It is. And how... Uh, we've killed a few enemies with those dags as well. They're pretty powerful. It is, yeah. It's five and a half hearts, I think it was. It's pretty good. It is. So I'll just mine up the obsidian here, and I think that uh, I'll be right back once we, um... Mine this obsidian. So basically, the reason I'm getting this obsidian is because I want to make some alamite. And alamite is a really, really strong um, substitute for steel. It's basically as strong as steel. I think it just has a little, little bit less durability. So it's a lot better than iron, uh, but it is an alloy that we need to make in the um, smeltery. Now, one thing I found out, however, is that the smeltery can, of course, yep. double um, your ores. Okay. So it might be in our interest to not macerate these ores anymore, but instead use the smeltery. Smeltery. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, there's a few ores that I think might not be able to be um, smelted down, but I think like the monazit ore and stuff can still go in the uh, the macerator, but... As for, like, of course, iron and copper, things like that, maybe not tin, um, I think we can put it in the smeltery because there is actually a block. Um, for the smeltery, which makes you be able to make blocks, like actual blocks. Okay. So we'll use that. Sounds good. It is. That's because it is good. Right? Okay. I'm just gonna finish the ceiling quickly. You sealing it? You sealing I'm sealing. It. I'm sealing the ceiling. You're sealing up the ceiling. Well, I'm getting a load of obsidian here. It's actually a lot slower than the mining well thing. The mining well approach is actually pretty uh, pretty quick, actually, as long as you put down the mining well. Down all the time. Do you remember that? That was before we had these epic weapons. Oh, uh, yeah. So steel can actually mine... Um, steel can actually mine quite a lot of stuff. It can mine, like, the, the, the nether ores as well. There's, like, some really rare nether ores that we haven't seen yet, however. Oh, right. Um, called, like, cobalt stuff, which are really, really rare, and ardite or something. Okay. So we need to find those. Because they're really, really good. And we can then make manillion, which is like the best thing to make tools out of. Right, okay. Okay, so I think 
Um, I'm gonna have a quick explore in the nether, actually, whoever. Okay. Have a look around. So I think the first thing I'm gonna do is mine this little tiddler of quartz down here. Okay, maybe not. You're not gonna mine up the quartz, sir. I almost lost my dagger. I'm gonna be careful with my dagger. I'm gonna put it in my inventory because I could throw it off the edge of the world. I think you should just leave it back at the house, really. You probably won't have to use it. Well, I mean, you will, but don't you don't bother using it. Okay, I'm gonna be careful of that fire bat I can see over there. As I build my way across the horrible lava lake. I'm being very wary of that fire bat in the top right corner of my screen. Oh yeah. Because he can punch me off. Well, I'm over here, guys, and there's some pretty cool stuff. Look at this. It's pretty wild and crazy things going on. So what's this? This is just a random, unnamed thing. All right, that's pretty cool. And what's this? Big mushrooms. And these are special mushrooms, it seems like. Oh, I'm getting a little bit of uh, strange effects going on. I. What kind of effects? Just some weird nausea effects when I mine up these mushrooms. So basically this is like the giant mushroom I guess, of like the special mushroom so we can make some glow shroom. Whoa! And there's a ghast. Oh shoot, there's a ghast with a massive Ododex thing on him. Take him down with my special arrows. Look at that. And I got a ghast here, however. Oh good. That is good. Bit of destruction, but it's fine. Okay, I'm taking down. I'm getting all these lovely glow mushroom things. Glowing mushrooms. Make some glow stream stew. I want to test that out. Let's see if it's nice. There certainly is some pretty crazy ores going on over here. Like I'm eager, eager to find. But uh, I'm just getting these special lovely mushrooms here right now. So don't mind me, whatever. I'm getting some mushrooms. Okay. for now, to get a few more, why not? Let's get as many as I can. Okay, there we are. So, those lovely mushrooms have gone now, but I've got them all. And I'm going to keep exploring this little island here. It's quite a small island, but, you know, it's quite a cool little place. Uh, I'm going to use my bear claw to just harvest up a ton of soul sand. Yeah. What's it called? Mitts, force mitt. So now I've got tons of soul sand for stuff. I'm happy with that soul sand. I've got some soul sand. There's a fire bat approaching there, Weber. This could be bad. Uh oh. Where is he? He's over this way somewhere. Whoa! Baby spider just took him down though. Yeah, I'm getting some weird effects when I'm around these uh, these things. And what the hell's that over there? Looks like even more crazy stuff. This is a really crazy nether. Don't know what I'm doing. Okay, I need to uh, open up the map. How do I do that like that? Okay, I'm gonna go this way since this looks like it's more mainstream um, nether over here. So I'm gonna try and reach over that way. This could be difficult though, considering first of all there's a ghast. Second of all, that I am very low on health. In fact, I'm very low on hunger. But how, just to settle the mood, how are you going back over there, Weber? It's good, it's good. I'm making the mine that you found that goes down a lot bigger all for right. the pathway. Because we can always build some stuff in here. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't probably bring my most powerful tools along with me when I go to the nether, since I could easily fall into the lava at any point. Yeah. 
found some nether wall though, which is awesome. And what the hell is that? Whoa! Hey Tommy, how how do I get the cobble to fix the broken excavator thing? Excavator. How um, do I get the cobble to just, go into it? You just get the cobble. Yeah. And go to the uh, go to the um, part builder. The the the, the um, yeah part the builder. No, it's not part builder. It's the one next. Tool to station. It. No, uh, tool station. Yes, I think that's what it is. Okay. And you just um, put the cobble in. So you put the pit in the in the pickaxe light. You put the thing, the excavator, and then put the cobble to the side, and it re reheals it. I see. And you need like five to fully. Re Whoa! Those are very quick exploding creepers. I don't like them. Yeah, yeah. Max faced those. I remember. They're like sonic creepers or something like that. Very quick exploding. I don't like that at all. It's very annoying. Well, the big room's almost done. Is it? I'm gonna eat a quick couple of pork chops just to re re refuel though, because it's getting pretty, uh, pretty spicy in here, I must say. Okay. But I have got some pretty nice protection stuff. So there's a lot of nether quartz around, which I'm just gonna mine up. So uh, this is pretty good. So you said you're 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 because we found another mine behind the cave, remember? So you're expanding there. Uh yeah. That's why I'm planning on doing it. Okay. Okay, this is the run weather. The cobblestone run. There's a fire bat. Oh, that was close. That could have been bad if it was on the uh, bridge. I'm running across. Okay, I've made the first bridge. I've made the first bridge. Oh god, there's a gas. From somewhere. Okay. I'm going for the second run. Okay, no, I'm not. Okay, I'm making the second run. Whoa, lag there, that was bad. Okay, come on. Yes, made it across. Okay, let's go. Phew. Okay, I'm back in. Well, I'm back in. I'm back in business. Okay. Oh, it's a close one. Okay, I'm back. I'm back, back, back. Phew. And it's raining, so toggle down. So first of all, I've got some lovely new mushroomy goods. Some nice mushroom things. Some... Got gas here. Got a gas here. One of apprentice just randomly lying here. Needs to go there. And then I've also got some of this weird string, hell string, whatever it's called, flame string, minium shards. Hell string. Uh, I'll actually take this. Um, ash cloud. I could apparently turn into um, charcoal. I also found some different types of bush, some new stuff there. And then some lovely more certus quartz and amber and iron ore which goes down here. So, Weber, are you ready to do this alamite? Alamite. I am. Ready. So first of all, could we go to sleep? Good sleeping tins. Yeah, I'll pop up. Should come down and see the big room. It's going along. It's coming along well. Well, 
Adios. There you go. Adios. I can see you dancing up there. What are you doing? I'm dancing on your face. You're dancing on my face. Oh, I can't rest because there are monsters nearby. Oh, sleep in Joe's bed. Oh, no. Oh, I could kill them. I can see you coming down the stairs in the corner of my eye. Here you come. Just jumped in your face. And to bed we are. Jump face. Exactly. Jump face. Tommy, you should come see this room. Come to see it. Oh my giddly do. Well, oh, how's the cold cut going? Oh, we've. Whoa, Weber, look at what we got. What? 16 buckets of creosote oil and 32 cold cokes. Oh my god. It's pretty nice. But yeah, I can see you're starting to expand down there. And you're starting to, uh. Patch this up down here. It's very yeah. nice. Yeah. I know. You know. We all know. We all know what to do. That's right. So, yeah, time to make some alamite. And the way you make alamite is pretty simple. You just need a bunch of really difficult stuff to make, that's all. Oh my god, this thing has a weird hat. Oh my god, I want to wear this. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> Is that the hat you just got? Yeah, look, it's a foam finger. Yeah, I got a foam finger as well. <laughs> it's like the cursor. It's yeah. a bloody massive hat. It is, it's quite a big hat. I know you can get the TARDIS actually. Like, it's just like poking the ceiling, look. I know, you really want to get up there. I really want to poke the ceiling. But, um, yeah, I've, I've seen the TARDIS one, that's funny. The TARDIS one's pretty difficult to get though. But, um, yeah, we're gonna have to look out for that. There's also ore in here, why is that there? Okay, so I know I'm gonna need some uh, aluminium, so I'll get as much aluminium as possible. And I also need iron, I think, and that's about it. So I'll mash up that monazit and pulverize up that lead. Right, so. Let's go outside, Weber. You ready for this? Make some alamite? Yeah, I'm coming. Go outside. Since we've got so much um, stuff now, we might as well use it. Now, first of all, we are going to need a little bit of uh, titlin. Titlin. Titlin McGitlin. So we are going to need a... Uh, what's it called? A, s a casting basin, which is seven seared bricks. I don't think we have that many seared bricks. I don't think we have any seared bricks, in fact. So we're going to need a bit of clay. And a bit of... We're going to need quite a lot of clay. And gravel. And gravel. And sand. That should be all we need to make some lovely grout. Yeah. It is right, isn't it? This is right. That is correct, sir. <laughs> and I'm going to smelt up this grout, and then... Actually, no, i tell you what, I don't have to smelt this, up this grout. I just need to get some coal from somewhere. Such as downstairs. And do it in just just down the stairs. Just popping down, see what's going on. can do it in our inventory with C. So we just get some get some coal, minium stone, grab, got some seared bricks. Look at that. Beautiful. Nice. We ready to go? We're ready to go. Ooh, very laggy. Okay, pop up the stairs. I can see you like below me. And I'm just making a basin, a casting basin. Okay, we're ready to go. Let's go upstairs and have a look at this lovely item. You ready for this, Weber? Yeah. So first we need to get rid of that, and we put in the casting basin instead. Is the lava going to pour into there? No, that's where we're going to have... that's where you can form the blocks. Whoa. Yeah, you don't want to do that. 
It just made a stone brick. Jokes. <laughs> so, yeah, we got loads of loads of cool stuff. And to make alamite, we look in here. Over, yep. And we see that to make alamite, we need five aluminium, two iron, and two obsidian. So if we pop that in, whoa, what's going on? Whatever. Oh, you're making some stairs up. <laughs> yeah. We pop in the five aluminium. I'll do it around the back, actually. And the two obsidian and the two iron. And that should give us some lovely alumite. Alumite. Oh my god. Oh my. So oh my. The aluminium is taking hardly any time to cook up. The obsidian's taking ages. And the iron's taking quite a while. So what's this going to make? Alamite. Tell you what, should we make a ladder up the side? Uh, I'll go yeah, make a ladder. Yeah. I'll go make a ladder. Yeah, okay, see my... Okay, right, let's craft. Three ladders. There we are. Put some on the sides. There we go. Would you say that's quite spiffy, Weber? Spiffy McGiffy. Spiffy McGiffy. Giffy was quite spiffy, wasn't he? Giffy was spiffy. So now we can pop up the top here to have a look down from below. Giffy was also very spiffy. Actually, it's probably a, an idea not to actually have these up here because I just realise if you do fall in, then you're not going to come back up. No, because you can. No, because we just use the windows. That's why I put the windows there. That's why. Oh, right. So you can actually see what's going on. We can see that the aluminium has melted, but the other two are taking quite a while. That's quite a pain if you think about it. I mean, jeez. Jeez. Jeez, Louise. Jeez, made me wanna eat cheese. Iron ore is coming in now. You'll see the iron pop in sometime. Alright. There it is, you can see the thin fil film of iron over the top there, it's a bit strange. It's a molten iron and a molten aluminium all mixed together. Finally, a bit of obsidian just to finish it off, would you say? Also, there's some barley weather that needs some harvesting. And oh yeah, and potatoes and carrots and tons of sugar cane. Why have we got so much sugar cane? Because we need the sugar cane. Well, we need it for research, paper, and thorncraft, won't we? Oh yeah, that is true. Well, with that, guys, you can see here that the uh, the old obsidian is almost finished. We'll have some lovely alamite. There you go. See, it's all mixed together to make six ingots of alamite. So now. We can make some epic tools with this stuff. So I'm gonna make some. What do you want to make, Weber? Should we make a? I haven't got a shovel. I'll make an alamite shovel. Why not? So we need a tool rod and a shovel head. So there we go. And that. And there we go. You done it? Yeah, got my alamite shovel things. Do you want an alamite shovel as well, Lula? Why not? Okay, I'll make you an alamite shovel. I think I deserve it after this massive room. That's right. A pink. It's pink. It's a lovely purpley pink. It's very nice. It's going to look very, very tasty. Is it going to look as tasty as the sauce? What, the, the sauce that we enjoy? When we enjoy the sauce, when we meet the oars? Yeah. That's right. I hope you enjoy the sauce, Weber. I enjoy the sauce. Do you enjoy the sauce, though? I enjoy every single type of sauce, really, to be honest. I'm not very picky about my sauce, uh, my sauce types. Right, I see what you mean. So we've still got three ingots of alamite, which is pretty cool, but we've now got the necessary things to make a shovel. So we'll plop on downstairs and make some shovels, whether. 
What should we call them? Should we call them the Shovels of Hope? Shovels of Hope? Why not? Shovel of Hope 1. Shovel of Hope 2. Do you want number 1 or 2? Uh, I don't mind. Whatever. Whatever goes on. Okay, come, come take a look at this room. I think it's pretty much done. Is it, really, is it pretty much done? Is it pretty much done, pretty much? It's pretty much done, pretty much. Okay. 36 cold coke. Ooh. Do you want me to plop that in the generator? Tommy. What? The... Not all of it, not all of it. Well, sixteen thousand, so, so we can you, plop in two. Yeah, I think. So do you want number? Do you want number one or number two? Well, right now I don't think we've got. Just check in the back box, see how much power we got. Just check. Put one in for now. Just put the one in for now. So you generate so much power, though, don't they? That's the thing. Oh yeah, we only need one. Okay, we'll just take this one out. Okay. They go on for like ages. Because we've got tons of forsythium. This is good. This is good. Okay, so whoever, do you want number one or number two? I have number two. Okay. Look at these lovely shovels. We haven't got any. Um... Oh yeah. It looks like an ice. It looks like a really nice lolly. Ice lolly. Yeah. So we haven't got any moss yet, so we're gonna have to find some. So. Tommy. Mm -hmm. We need to light up this place. We do. What? How's good is it? Um, it's pretty quick. That's all right. It's not the same as an iron shovel. No, it's, it's quicker, it's like a diamond. Doesn't feel like a diamond. How many... Uh, if I put some cold coke in there, how many pieces of cobblestone could it cook? Could what? Could, how many pieces of cobblestone could what? One piece of cold coke. How many pieces of cobblestone could it cook? In what? A normal furnace? Yeah. 32, I think. One piece of cold coke? Yeah. So it's worse than coal? No. So how come it can't cook more cobblestone? Colca only cooks eight. No. Um, say, oh right, oh, it, one piece cooks 32 and coal cooks eight. Yeah. What were you asking me? Oh, I see. No, I, th I was thinking something else, sorry. Um, yeah, that's right. Okay. Okay. So yeah, Weber, this is definitely the new way to get ores now. Just put it in the smeltery and smelt it all down, because... It's also a lot quicker. The mass rate is really slow, and this thing, though, is so quick. So awesome. <sighs> Definitely the best way. I'm getting rid of some cobble. Oh, crap. Get some tin. Awesome. And we can do exactly the same over and over again. With This time with copper, though. So, we, today, in this episode, have made alamite shovels shovel of hope yeah. number one and two um and we've also found an epic way to um now use a different kind of macerator so instead of using the macerator and furnace we just use a smeltery so thank you all for watching and we've also had an epic invention in the nether of course yeah of course so thank you all for watching and we will see you next episode <laughs> goodbye, goodbye.